Oh, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Gunther the Great. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing great because being great is awesome. Squash it. It's your mind. Today I am doing the Q&A, so I'm going to be answering questions that you guys commented on this video right here. So if you commented on that video and asked a question, I'm answering it in this video. So I hope you guys like it, and sorry if you missed it. And if you have any other questions, just comment below if you missed it, and then I'll answer it down there. Or in a further or later Q&A. So let's get started with these questions. DJ Little Productions asked, I have my hair in a box, and I've been growing it out for about four months. But it's really short and I want to start dreads, but do not want to go to the salon. So what is the best way to start them? Um, start them however you want. Either you go freeform, if your hair is like super nappy, it freeforms easily. Or you can twist and lock them, which is really annoying. Or you can interlock them, which is annoying as well. But it's honestly your choice. You can twist them, towel rub, however you want. Honestly, just watch tutorials on how to start dreadlocks and you'll find a way you would like to do it. But it's honestly up to you whether you uh, you gotta find a way that you like your hair to look and how you want to maintain your lock. Next question. He asks, your video had me laughing when you're talking about the girl from your work, but here's my question. Will you ever dread up the sides and back of your hair? I feel like I talked about this in this video, but I'm gonna, when, once my hair gets longer, I'm gonna grow up the sides and the back and dread that up as well. But I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that. Maybe in the future, maybe now, I don't know. I haven't shaved my, I haven't cut off the sides in about a month, almost two months maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I've been growing out the sides ever since then, but they're not too long, you know? Fresh Dreadhead asked, what do you think about big congos and freeform locks? And freeform locks. And would you let your hair congo? I mean, they're cool. I don't, I don't have congos right now, but I can feel them like coming on. But if my hair gets congoed, I'm cool with it. But if not, then oh well. But congos look sick, just depends. Huge ones look kind of weird. But, I mean, it's honestly up to you. I mean, free, a lot of freeform locks are congoed, and that's just how they want their hair. They let their hair freeform, it forms freely. It's cool. Herb Chilling asked, You're a laid back dude. What do you think about weed with like 14 E's? Me, personally, I don't smoke weed. I'm not against it, I'm not for it, so there's your answer. I mean, it's legalized some places and it's not legal where I'm at, so I'm not, I don't, I don't smoke weed, I don't, I have friends that smoke weed, they ask me if I want and I don't, that's just me. Personal preference, I'm a chill dude just because I'm a chill dude, that's how I am. I don't smoke to be chill, I'm just chill, I'm automatically chill, I don't need to smoke to chill. There's your answer. Taylor Johnson has some random questions for me, let's answer them. Scariest movie you've watched? The scariest movie I've watched probably would have to be, I think the first, first Sinister because it was creepy as I'll get out. Best comment I've gotten on my dreads. Best comment I got on my dreads, dreads, on my dreads was, I don't know. My friend always tells me, dang your hair looks sick. But that's probably the only comment I get on my hair, besides the comments on YouTube. Are you mixed and with what? I'm black and white as well. I'm half, half and half, split down the middle like an Oreo. That's what I am on black and white. It's for everyone who doesn't know what I am. Best feature on a girl. That booty. <laughs> um, best feature on a girl is her personality. If she doesn't have a personality, what's the point? Favorite food other than Chipotle? McDonald's, because it's cheap and it's good and people hate on it, but oh well, it's freaking good. I don't care what they think. It's convenient, but I love your videos. Thank you so much. Keep watching. I'll be coming out with more videos in the future. Was the movie good? And they are referring to Sinister 2 because I talked about it in the last video. Sinister 2, was it good? Um, for a horror film, it was alright. It was more of a love story at the end, I noticed. And the ending was kind of... It was cool, but then I wanted it to be like over with, but now I know there's going to be a third movie. So, I'll wait to the third movie, but the movie was pretty cool, you know, it wasn't as scary as the first one, but other than that, it was tight. Grant Newton asked, how long was it before you washed your locks? I waited two months before I even got my hair wet, so it was probably two and a half months before I even washed it. How long did it take for your hair to lock? My hair's not even fully locked right now. Even though it does stay in when I wash it and stuff, there's still like a few in the back that aren't completely locked, but they still stay in when I wash, so I guess they are locked. Um, probably about pretty much two months. 
because that's when I got it wet and it didn't fall out after that. How often do I wash my hair? I wash my hair about every other day. And in the, on the other days, I just get my hair wet. But other than that, I wash my hair every other day. Or whenever it just gets dirty. Sometimes I wash, don't wash my hair for like three days and then I'll wash it like on the fourth day. But other than that, usually every other day. Have you ever counted how many dreadlocks you have? Asks Yasmin Boykin. No, I haven't, but I will. Two hours later. 20 minutes later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. I don't know. Did you or do you still get a lot of positive or negative feedback with your dreads now? I feel like the society is uh, normal, uh, used to seeing dreadheads and everything, so there's not really rude comments, bad comments or anything. Usually just like a little, oh, I like your hair or something like that, you know? Not many negative comments besides like those people that just want to hate for no reason. A little bit of positive, not too, too much negative. Okay, everybody's been asking me what is the intro song to my videos on like my little intro and the song is It Jima by Keith Ape. That song goes hard so I know why everyone is asking for that song because it's a really tight song. I mean you can't understand the words you're saying besides some of the English words you're saying but it's tight, it's trap. Anime Geek 102 asks, what can I do to get my dreads to lock up faster? My answer for you is wash your hair and just keep washing your hair and just let it lock by itself. Don't try to do anything to it. Unless you really want to speed up the process, crochet hook it to bring in loose hairs, but don't go too crazy and break all your hair up. Um, just wash it and let it lock up by itself. I mean, your hair does all of its stuff for itself. You can't really do it. And let, like, I don't know, just let it lock up itself. Don't rush it and just let, enjoy the ride. What was my inspiration to get dreads? I've always wanted dreads ever since I was probably like in the sixth grade, so ever since then, I've really wanted dreads and I probably wanted them because like Nigel Houston or something because I skate and he was like a big influence for me when I was younger because he went pro at a young age, probably 12 and I saw his hair and I was like dang his hair is tight so I want to get dreads one of these days and I never did until now but um, some point before my 8th grade year I think I started freeforming locks but then I cut my hair and then now I grow it in them again. When your dreads grow to as long as yours, can you wash them every day? Yes, I've washed my hair. There was like one week to where I washed it just like every day. And there's no difference than washing it every other day or three days a week or one day a week. I really don't see a difference because either way you're getting it washed. So, I mean, I've washed my hair every day before and it's the same as washing your regular hair without locks, honestly. It doesn't matter how long your hair is, it just matters how long you've had your hair, honestly how locked up it is and if it's super locked up you can wash it whenever you want yay cheese 7 asked how long do your dreads have to be so you can do ponytails man bun or a top nut my hair can almost go into it all of the top and a little bit of the back can go all the way into a pony uh not a ponytail but like a bun and just like two or three of my locks don't go into it so i'm just like i don't want to i don't want to have a bun if all my hair can't go into it so i'm guessing at least two more two more inches to where my hair comfortably will be in a, a bun. My hair is probably like four inches right now. Four or five maybe. Cedric the second asked, How often do you wash your hair? And your hair reminds me of Jaden Smith. He also grew out his sides. So am I. Is this the goal you're trying to achieve? Because I heard his music in one of your videos. That is a long question. How often do I wash my hair? I already answered that in the question every other day. And your hair reminds me of Jaden Smith. Da -da 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 -da. Is this my goal? Uh, kinda. I really like his hair, so I kinda wanna have that look, but then again, I'm not gonna try to copy or emulate him. Recently, I have made dreadlocks with the crochet method, which I did in the future. I mean, in the past. How long does it take for the dreads to fall? It takes about, I don't know, it just depends how your hair is. My hair did not fall about till the three month mark, so maybe it's three months, maybe it's four months, maybe it's a year. I know some people who've had their hair for two years and their still, hair still hasn't fell down. That's free form and it's different. Like The weekend, his hair's never fell down. Rafiq Clark asked, How long do you reckon your dreads are going to be? I don't know how that quite, how you want me to answer that because <laughs> hair can grow however long it needs to be or wants to be. I don't plan on cutting my hair, so I want it to grow all the way to China. Sebastian Thomas asked, which method do you did you use to, to make your locks? By the way, cool vids. Thanks. 
Um, the, the method I used to make my locks, I started out with a towel rub, which I mentioned in my past videos. I used towel rub at first and then I started crochet hooking my hair and then I'd spray my hair with sea salt. Mills093 asked, when you were starting out, did your dreads get super puffy after you washed them? And he said that his get puffy, puffy after he washes him. Them. His. Yes, mine did. Mine still do get puffy. It's going to be a while before they get completely locked in. So just be patient and let your hair lock. Skyborg asked me, what does your girlfriend look like? Shoot, I don't have a girlfriend. I Unless there's a baddie watching this video, comment below and then you can come through. We can go on a date. Uh, I just want to chill. Damien Bailey asked, how did you start your dreads? Did you get them done or did you do it with your fingers? I did it with the Tyro method and I did do some interlocking with my fingers as well, but I don't interlock anymore, but that's how I started. Last question of the day, but not least question of the day. Young Wavy asks, would you ever dye your tips a different color? I don't plan on it unless in the future I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go crazy with it and like just bleach my hair or something. But I don't know, probably not. I'm just gonna let my hair be natural as possible like I used to have it. When I had an afro, I just let it be natural, just wash it and everything, lotion, not lotion, freaking uh, conditioner and all that. I just keep it as natural as possible. But that is the last question for today. Hope you guys like the Q&A. If you want more, please comment below and I'll answer those in the comments. But in the future, I might do another Q&A, so be looking forward to that. And also be looking forward to a new video coming out really soon. See you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.